In today's video, we're gonna review the ATR2100X. What's up fam, welcome back to Leveling Up with CMH. I'm your host, CMH, founder of Startup U. Before we get started guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for more videos like this. Okay, so I've done a lot of videos recently where we're talking about podcasting and specifically equipment that I recommend for podcasting. So this is a microphone that has really blown me away. Uh, I've been on several shows where the host has used this microphone or um, I, I've actually used it in person before. So I decided to give it a shot uh, just to give you guys a review, honestly. And I think what you're gonna find is pound for pound as a beginner, right? If you're just starting out with your podcast, I think this is one of the better microphones you could choose, really and truly. So I know there's a lot of people that are concerned about the investment up front. Like I've, I've done videos on, on the Shure SM7B, which is the microphone I'm using. This is a $400 microphone, and it requires a lot of other accessories and other components for it to work the way that you're hearing it right now. This microphone, out of the box, it's tremendous, and it gives you a lot of options. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it as you guys are watching this. I, I just recorded a video of me kind of taking the components out of the box, and then I'm going to go over each individual component, what it does, and why I think this is awesome value. And then what we'll do is we're actually going to do a sample hearing. So you'll be able to hear, obviously, the microphone I'm using now, which is a Shure SM7B, and I'm going with an XLR cable into a cloud lifter and then into my Rodecaster Pro, which is my soundboard, right? So that's where we're able to really record local files, but also we can do a lot of modifications with this raw file, audio file as well on the back end, which is the benefit of having a microphone like the Shure SM7B. So I'm not gonna change any of my settings. I'm gonna leave it exactly the way it is right now for my Shure. All I'm gonna do is just plug this in. This has an XLR input on the bottom of this microphone, and we're gonna see what it sounds like. So we're gonna give it a sound test. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about some of what comes inside of this box. So obviously, I've shown you the microphone. I love it. I think it's awesome, specifically for podcasting. I think if you, Mac, if you just put this thing right on the mic arm right here, I think it would look tremendous. I'd probably get like a pop filter or something to go on the top of this thing just so you don't like pop into that and you pick up that sound. I'd probably pick that up. It'll make it look more legitimate. They probably make one on Amazon for, I didn't look, probably for a couple bucks um, that you just is made specifically for this microphone. Uh, so I, I'd probably grab that, but it's a real clean looking microphone in my opinion. It's very light and it also comes with, which I kind of felt this was a little weak if I'm being totally candid, but you can pick up any kind of a mic stand this one, you know, this would be great for travel. So let's go ahead and say this. The fact that this thing just kind of opens up and do like a little tripod uh, the way it does, but then it breaks down into a singular looking component like this. I think that's a really awesome benefit. Reason being is that the benefit of podcasting in relation to having like a YouTube channel or something like that is that you can do it remote, right? Like I could be traveling and go to Puerto Rico and like where, where my in-laws live. And I could literally just be like this with my cord and throw it in my backpack and grab a laptop. And I, I can record any episode anywhere and have tremendous quality. So I think that's awesome. Some of the stands, I would keep this for travel. That's what I would do. I would have a stand, like maybe I'd even get a mic arm potentially. This is a PSA one from Rode. I would get a really good mic arm for home where you can just pop it on or connect it or what have you when you're using it at home. And then if you want, you when you travel, you grab this thing and this is what you use for the road, right? That's what I would do. The fact that it comes with it for free for $100 is what this costs. I think is awesome value because most of them, you just get the microphone. In fact, I've talked about it with the Shure SM7B and I may have already mentioned it in this video. Apologize if I did, but you don't even get the cables with the SM7B. You literally just get a microphone. That's it. No stand, no cables, nothing. So you can't even do anything with it. So the fact that this comes with, is a good microphone. The fact that it comes with a stand is kind of rinky dink as it is. It's, it's just like a light plastic. But the fact that you get one anyways is fantastic. You can go add another one for, you know, 20, 30 bucks for, for getting a really, really good one. Or you upgrade and go 100, 100 and something dollars for, uh, for a mic arm, a really good one. Uh, I think that's awesome, awesome value. So you also get, you know, the component to the mic stand. It's actually hold it in place. And then you, it looks like you just screw this in. Pretty simple. And then you pop this out. Looks like these two components just spread. And then boom, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. As you can see, pretty solid, right? So uh, I, it does feel flimsy, I will say. It does feel pretty flimsy. It's kind of wobbling around on me. So again, I would say this is your travel kit. This is not your at-home kit. But the fact that you get it, I think, is awesome. Uh, now, a couple other things I'm going to grab from the box uh, that are really, really important that I think is, is again, really profound. 
um, when you think about it. But these are XLR cables. These can be expensive. Now, these are Mogami Gold on, on the Shure SM7B, so these are upgraded uh, XLR cables. But the fact that they give you any at all, in again, in that 100 I think I spent 60 70 bucks for these cables. I'm not kidding you. So the fact that you get one in, in, in with this box and the microphone still only costs $100, Man, I think that's really, really solid. So I'm not going to be using this because, again, we already have the Mogami Golds. So just know that it might mine might sound a little bit better for two reasons. So I've got a cloud lifter for one, which I already mentioned. I've got the Mogami Golds, and we're going into the Rodecaster Pro, and I've set unique settings for me specifically. So keep that in mind. So whatever you hear, downgrade it maybe just a, just a hair just so you know what it probably would sound like without all these additional accessories, which I've paid exorbitantly to have, right? So something to keep in mind. Uh, but next... We've got a micro USB, which again, at the bottom of this, I didn't point this out. At the bottom of this microphone, you've got all these various inputs underneath here. So you've got the XLR input, you've got your regular USB. So you've got an auxiliary as well. So you've got an auxiliary cord, so you can put, or, or port, so you can actually put in headphones, right? So you could use uh, just whatever headphones you want to use or just plug right into to it. So that's good too. Uh, but you've got multiple options on the bottom of this thing as far as what you want to use. So the reason I think that's going to benefit you is that you may not want to go XLR from the get-go because XLR requires all these additional components. You need some kind of a recording device like a Rodecaster or like a, a Zoom H4n or H6n, something that can actually take in an XLR input. Um, your laptop or your computer probably won't, well, I'm not going to say probably, it definitely doesn't have that. Some cameras will have it. You can plug directly in your camera, but some podcasters, they're not doing a video podcast, so it doesn't matter. So the fact that you get the micro... Uh, and a regular USB port, that's going to be great, again, for travel. So I, I really like this microphone for travel. Uh, I think it's a, a, an amazing option for, for 100 bucks. And, and honestly, here's the deal. I have talked about the, the Blue products, right, and pretty negatively. I, I've had Blue products. I had the Yeti myself. Was, I had the Snowball and the Yeti. Those were my first two microphones that I had. And the reason that I bought them was because I had heard well, this is what you buy. You buy a blue, right? You buy you, like Yeti was like, you know, what you buy as an entry level podcaster. If I could go back, I would have gone Audio Technica because Audio Technica pound, pound for pound for podcasting is just a far superior product. I, I explained in other videos why I think Yeti is a little bit overpriced. And the reason being primarily is because you're paying for features that you really don't need. And honestly, I think they've just done a better job of marketing than what Audio Technica has done, if I'm being candid. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick pause now. I've given you some, you know, a little bit of the unboxing and what comes with it. I'm going to hit a quick pause. I'm going to plug this microphone in so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And I'll do XLR and then we'll also do USB so you can hear both. Okay, so we're back on the XLR2 Roadcaster Pro setup through my Cloud Lifter. So keep in mind, all those additional pieces of equipment will augment the sound of my own audio, so you may not be able to replicate it to the same degree that I have done so here. However, also keep in mind that I just plugged it in. I didn't change any of the settings or do any of the other added specs and stuff like that. So really and truly, if you did buy the extra pieces of equipment that I had and you did change the settings to match this specific microphone, you may actually be able to make it sound even better than what I have here right now. So that if that gives you an example of what you could recreate, that's great, but it would require those additional pieces of equipment. So uh, I'm going to switch over to the USB so that you can see what it sounds like when I bypass all of this and maybe what it's going to sound like specifically for you. Okay, so if you're going to hear a downgrade in sound quality, it's going to be through this because now we are no longer going through my advanced equipment. We are just going straight to the computer through a micro USB cord. Uh, if you don't have a micro USB port on your computer, that's something you're going to need to have as far as an adapter is concerned. Uh, but I think it's, I mean, it took me 30 seconds, literally, to just swap out cables and start recording. So it's very, very seamless in, as far as that transition going from XLR to USB. So that is going to be great. But you will notice probably that it is a little bit downgraded sound quality. Uh, overall, I think this mic is tremendous. If you want to go back 30 seconds and listen to what it sounded like previously, or even go back to my Shure SM7B, mix and go throughout this video back and forth to see if you can get a true sound comparison. Sometimes when you're listening to something, you're like, okay, that sounds good. Then you go back 30 seconds and you realize, okay, that sounds a little bit different than what I remember. <laughs> so make sure you play around, listen to the different uh, samples that we provided here today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more videos like this, hit the bell for notifications on future videos, drop a comment below, and don't forget about our flagship program called Startup You, where we help people turn ideas into revenue generating businesses, and we turn people into superhuman entrepreneurs. I'll see you guys in the next one.